Second red suspect is still at large this afternoon, and a Columbia mom is in the hospital after the incident last night. We have those stories, and we're like, oh, by the way, there's an app for that. for that. And now the U.S. government is saying, there's an app for that. that. It's not coming from the kitchen, according to employees. They said they started smelling something like what you might smell when the furnace comes on. There's not much left of the old Latham School building except for some charred bricks. They're just covered with soot. We're live in downtown Kansas City in the Power and Light District for the MU Pep Rally before the Notre Dame game. And we got Truman the Tiger. Welcome back. Despite fall being right around the corner, now is actually a good time to start a garden. Interesting. So, you know, there's no ESPN sports desk around here anywhere. What brings you to Parkade no. Elementary? The moment has come. It's time, right, guys? Yep. All right. Now we're going to move it over to the kiddos here because I think they deserve So, a lot of people rooting for tradition, at least Emmy loves. And not only will this have an impact on the alumni here, but also on the economy as well. That's exactly right, Emily. My job is to um, receive the boxes from Lucas and slide them down. Uh, we're shipping a thousand care packages overseas to the troops in Afghanistan. Troops are coming out of Iraq right now, but we still have our guys in Afghanistan. There's toothbrushes and um, floss and Q-tips and a bunch of things that they can use. Every fall, we send over what we call birthday boxes. Um, they include a Twinkie, a, a, a napkin that says happy birthday. They're the reason that we're free, and they're fighting for us and keeping us safe. Probably a thousand hands have touched each of these boxes that go out today because everything's donated from around the country. I was uh, wounded over in Iraq in 2004. I uh, lost my trigger eye, kind of an important thing for a Marine to have. What they really bring is, is a piece of home. They have American products in them, you know, things that you recognize. The best part of this is bringing together families that really know and understand what it's like to have a Marine deployed overseas. They'll take it to the airport this afternoon, and the packages will be on their way. It's like any good old American town where you can find the stars and stripes planted in the city's heart. Here in Trenton, Missouri, 6,000 people called this small community home, including recent Stevens College graduate, Lauren Gray. My life is here. Lauren just received her bachelor's degree of fine arts and dance and hopes to become a professional dancer. Honestly, the biggest thing I'm concerned about right now is being a recent college graduate is getting a job and being an adult. But her American dream will come to a halt on her 21st birthday. On August 8th, my 21st birthday, I age out of my parents' visa. Lauren is facing deportation. Born in England, her parents moved her family here in 1995 when Lauren was just four years old. I didn't make the choice to bring myself here. I was brought here and I was made to like be involved in things. Make sure your waitress knows you have the car. Lauren's mom, Allie, and dad, Ian, moved to Trenton to be closer to Allie's parents who came to the U.S. to work as farmers. It was increasingly hard when mom came to visit to say goodbye to her. The couple bought this local hotel and restaurant nearly two decades ago. This is where we have the salad bar. Since then, it's been their livelihood and their ticket to being legal immigrants. Every minute any one of the four of us have been here. We've been legal from day one. The entire family is legally in the United States because of an E-2 visa or an investment visa. Lauren's parents qualify for it because they own a business and employ U.S. citizens. But when Lauren turns 21, the government won't consider her a dependent and she can no longer live under her parents' visa, making her an illegal immigrant. It's just always like feeling like we're unwanted, I guess. I am unwanted. Like, I shouldn't have to feel like I don't belong in the place that I was brought up in. Ali says the family members applied for their green cards in 2003. Nearly 10 years later, they're still waiting on the government to issue them. There's just nothing we can do. We have to wait our turn. There was many tears. And it's difficult to run the business when you're just crying constantly. The Grays booked a flight for Lauren to go back to England on July 31st, where she plans to live with her aunt. For Lauren, she says she will leave behind all she knows. I don't know. I've been avoiding it for a very long time. <laughs> it's hard saying goodbye. 
I just can't even think about it. The Greys run the considerable risk of getting stuck in England and losing their visa if they try to visit. And for Allie, the thought of not being able to hold her daughter is unimaginable. I just feel dreadfully guilty that I'm putting her through this. I'm sure she'll be fine, and like I say, she's been very strong. My immigration practice is... Immigration lawyer Art Hernandez says he's seen families all across Mid-Missouri face the same situation. Every person I have, it's the same story. Hernandez says making a status change in the U.S. is a complicated and slow-moving process, and his best advice is something many immigrants don't have time to hear. I have to do what I tell everybody else. Just be patient. Follow the rules. Do what's right. Allie says she tried reaching out to Missouri politicians like Congressman Sam Graves. We also tried to contact Graves. His office sent us this statement. My office has assisted the family in identifying all lawful options available to them. Unfortunately, this is a complex case in which there is no perfect answer for the family or friends. The family says it's tried everything it can think of, including seven different lawyers. For now, all Lauren can do yeah. is wait. It's definitely not going to be okay. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing this for because I shouldn't have to. While this stands in the heart of the Gray's home, it reminds them of the land they love and of the nation forcing them to wave goodbye to the one they love. With videographer Scott Schaefer, Emily Spain, KOMU 8 News, Trenton. Multiple crashes at the Missouri State Fair Speedway just hours ago landed six people in local hospitals. The first crash happened when a 15-year-old driver's vehicle flipped several times after coming around a turn. In your state news this morning, officials in Springfield say the city's water resources are getting so low they might soon begin restricting water use. According to the Springfield News Leader, reservoir levels are just 4% above emergency levels. If the levels continue to drop, customers who don't cut water use by at least 25% will pay significant of the 2012 campaign. And both parties are betting that's good news for their own ticket. Brian Moore has a story from Washington. Police in southwest Missouri are investigating two reports of child abductions. The Taney County Sheriff's Office says the first incident was reported Saturday near Kirbyville, just southeast of Branson. Welcome back. Parts of Northern California are now under a state of emergency as a 12,000 acre wildfire rages out of control. The Ponderosa fire has destroyed seven homes and prompted an evacuation order for at least 3,000 residents in the city of Manton. Nearly 1,000 firefighters are battling the blaze which broke out Saturday morning and they've yet to make any headway in containing the fire at this time. The cause of the fire is still unknown. The Red Cross is leading efforts to safeguard evacuees. The nation has seen gas prices steadily climb during the past week after more than 100 days of holding below 2011 prices. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular gas is $3.72. That's $0.05 cents more than a week ago and $0.29 cents more than last month. It's also $0.14 cents more to pump gas than last year at this time. The yearly peak for 2012 was on April 5th when gas hit $3.94. As college students head back to school today, they may want to know if they're getting the right degree. Kiplinger has come out with a list of the worst values in college majors. Anthropology tops the list with an unemployment rate of more than 10% for recent grads. And the median salary for those employed is $28,000. Anthropology majors are more than twice as likely as the national average to take a job in retail. That's followed by majors in fine arts, film and photography, philosophy, and religious studies, and graphic design. Doesn't it? I'm so excited. We finally have night games on the horizon. Last year we didn't really have any night games and they're just a little bit different of an environment. It's a little bit more of like a party. And I'm, I'm more prepping for the tailgating portion of it. I got there my go. dips all ready to go. I mean, it's a little early. <laughs> With all the Columbia firefighters responded to a house fire in Columbia around 3.30 this morning. The roof of the duplex was partially collapsed when firefighters arrived on the scene. They battled the blaze for about 30 minutes. The cause of the fire is still under investigation.